Hello, welcome back to Homie Collectibles channel. It's been a while, but we're doing another toy review. This is the Godzilla 2014 Destruction City playset. And this came out in 2014 for $20. Um, this is a really awesome playset. One thing a lot of Godzilla toy merchandise they don't do these days is play sets with cities and mini vehicles. This is the only one except for the 2004 Bandai Creations um, Destruct uh, Crumble uh, Crumble Zone playset with the GMK Godzilla and King Ghidorah Baragon Mothra, which is better than this one. But this is not bad itself. Um, it is missing accessories. It's missing two jets, two helicopters, and the plane. But this includes the two monsters female Muto Godzilla, two buildings, and the San Francisco Bridge, which is blue for some reason. Um, there are variants of this where you get white buildings, green buildings, blue buildings. This one has the green one. Um, so first, let's take a look at the accessories, the buildings. So here's the first one. Um, three pieces, one here, one here, one here. You can put them together like a puzzle have the monsters destroy them like that um one downside is that the back side is hollow so it's uh, i mean you got to face it on one side but it's not too bad it is detailed um but it is all together i wish they would have included like one more building to make a more city-ish you know but this is all right you know you can have them fight in the background you can you know, really get some cool effects. Um, so three pieces for this one. Here's the other building. This one has three as well. Oh no, I'm sorry. This one had four. This actually comes apart. So there's four pieces for this actually. This one has three pieces. Um, you get little parking lot, uh, parking spaces here. Some, these three large buildings. And this is probably accurate to San Francisco, especially this one, but I don't know the names of these things, um, what they're calling it. And this is also really hollow. You can see. Um, so yeah, you only get two buildings, which is okay. But if you want to get more, they did have these $10 destruction sets with Godzilla and the male Muto, which is really hard to find. Um, and they included different buildings, so you could buy and, and one vehicle. So you buy those and then buy this and you have a little city. Um, the best part about the set is the female Muto. This is the only physical, like besides the Hero Clicks um, mini uh, series figures, this is the only way you can get the female Muto until now that Bandai has made some $200 sets, which, you know, I don't really need I mean I mean it's too late for that I, you know if unless they made like SH monster arts this is fine for me um, it's quite detailed it's not colored accurate but it is really detailed um, it's got the red eye thing for the face it's got that weird shaped head it's got those four long legs I mean arms and then their legs right here the horse legs um, it's, it, it is bendy, so you can kind of bend it like this. Um, these arms are molded in to the legs. You can see the detail on the chest. So it's not bad. It's not painted accurately, but it does the job well. Fortunately, no articulation. They could have e easily gave this uh, her a, you know, just a joint so it can rotate the arms, but you actually have to take them off. And in the Japanese... Um, the Bandai Japan version of this set, there's a sticker that shows you can pull the arms off and have her posed like this, which is quite pathetic. I don't understand why they couldn't just, um, and you can see it's a peg. See, it's not even like a, you can't even rotate it. It's you, it's a square, you gotta take it off. The male Muto has the arms that can rotate off, so I don't understand why they had to do something like this. But anyways, it's not too bad. Um, here's Godzilla. Godzilla is the better of the two in terms of accuracy and detail. I mean, just look at the detail on the side of his face. You can see the gills. You can see the spikes. This is such a detailed figure. Um, 
except for the eye paint and the teeth but it's not that bad this is such a cool looking godzilla figure this figure does have articulation but the arms um yeah the arms move and the legs but they pop off real easily um, but you can put them back in so you're not going to break it um, the bandai vinyls do these better but i don't really need to get those I, I mean i'm fine with this you can have them battle like this and here's a size comparison this is fairly accurate um which is cool you know the muto isn't this big this small this is right you can have you know them do that little face off and godzilla pulls that female muto and you know drags it to the side so you can have all the construction sets have them fight and you know have the godzilla smash the muto into the building have the godzilla stomp on the muto and then the male one comes and saves her so here's a quick size comparison with the Cias from Jurassic Park Mini Action Dinos. So this is probably how Zilla would have compared um, from the 1998 um, movie. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.